We have a water committee that's formed in each village and, and they're empowered. We train them, give them the tools and the equipment to repair these because we tell them that we need your complete cooperation and partnership in order for this to be placed here because we're not just here to poke holes in the ground and do statistics. We're here to help people actually have water for a long time. We visited a water well we put in 18 years ago, so we know that our system is good. And we have six women on our committee here and four men. So one of the things that we insist upon is a representation of women on the water committee. And so I asked them, you know, how they feel about being empowered to serve in this capacity and it's an elected position. So they're very happy. Mercy says it's a privilege to be elected to this leadership position and to serve her community. It's the first time as a woman that she's been able to be uh, in that pos position. And so we're always finding new things about what water does, because this looks like a cup of water here, but this is a cup of magic. This is a cup of dreams. This is a cup of the future. And so her family, as far back as she can remember, for four generations has lived in this area They've never had a clean, sustainable water source. And she said, now we're, we're life is better now. Uh, there's not only improved hygiene, you can wash clothes, wash themselves, they bathe. They were getting water from hand dug pits. If she would get one bucket a day, she'd have to get up before the sun. It would take her four hours to get one bucket of contaminated water. And then there were long lines because there are other villages that are also using that hand dug source. And they said the fights would break out among the women, you know, about their position in line. There'd be three fights a week. And then they would break buckets. And now they say there's peace among the women. And the men would worry because their women are gone for so long. And then they said now there's peace in the home. They obviously have more time at home, more time for their families. Peace in the family, peace in the home. And so I was talking to Fred. We have some of the men represented here on the water committee also. And so as a result of having this time, they are able to purchase sweet potatoes and tomatoes in other areas to bring here to sell locally. And the thing that was important, I think it's extremely important as we look at this cup of water. They told me it's not just, it's not just improved health. There's an absolute elimination of waterborne disease. Cholera, diarrhea, and belharzia, they said, are completely eliminated. They used to go by family three to four times a month to the government health center. And if they had money, they'd take transportation, which is 6,000 6, kwacha, or they'd have to walk. Can you imagine the amount of time and energy it takes to get your kids to the health center. So now they have so much free time that they use to start businesses. And this saving of the money is what allows them to start businesses. So uh, one of the ladies on the water committee has started making donuts. And they, all, they said one of the other benefits of having this clean water is that all of their food tastes better. They get to, they get to cook their, their food with clean water. So, I mean, there's so much that goes into a cup of water. So for us, we just take it for granted, think that's just a glass of water. But this is a class, this is a cup of dreams, cup of the future. All of their kids go to school on time. All of their performances have improved. Their future is brighter just because of this. So I want to thank the employees of World Centric again and again. Thank you. We want you to see the people you're helping and the community that is going to be benefited from your partnership and your trust in, in Water Wells for Africa. So thank you guys so much.